Welcome to Advocation X, and I'm your host, Clyde Phillips. Now remember, folks, we never give in. We never give up. But we'll always keep an open mind because we know that knowledge is our power, and we will not give up our power to anybody for anything. Before we get started, folks, hit that like button. Subscribe, become a member, crush that bell, don't miss anything going forward. We have shows coming up for you. Let's dive in. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to live in the time of the Jetsons? Those of you who are baby boomers, I know you know the Jetsons. And your kids probably know the end of the Jetsons as well. And I'm sure they're playing somewhere right now and a lot of youngins have actually been exposed to the Jetsons also. It was a futuristic world that nobody could have ever expected to start unfolding. But we're getting there. Just imagine going to work, sitting back with your laptop, doing all your work in a nice smooth riding vehicle that takes you right to your destination. Bing, bang, you have arrived at your destination. Please gather your things and depart. You're like, oh. Thank you. Grab your laptop, get your bags, don't forget your coffee, off you go to work. You've done tons of work on your way there, uninterrupted. And if you had to research any, just imagine. Do -do -do, do -do -do. Project to the screens. Screens are all around you. It's a big infotainment system all through the vehicle. And you're able to research stuff, move stuff around, log it into your computer, put it onto your hard drive, and now you've arrived. You're, you're set, you're ready for your presentation. Wonderful drive, no stress, very smooth. That's the Jetsons. How about this? You're going to school, and you've done all your homework. So now, your trip to school, this is your leisure time. Just imagine, your school could even be like 10 times farther away, based on the technology that is coming out now, you jump in your transport, and all around you, you're watching your favorite movie, the one that you've been wanting to see for like weeks. Now you finally have time on your way to school, and you're watching this movie unfold around you. And it's like a beautiful surround sound with crazy graphics and super high definition. And you get halfway through, bing, bing, you've arrived at your destination. It's Oh, I was really enjoying that and getting into that. But you have to go to school. So when you get back in the next vehicle and they know it's you, they ask, would you like to continue your movie? Yes. Boom. There it is. You get to watch it on the way home. Now you've got to finish your whole movie. You've gone to school. You Great progress on the day. Folks, that's the future we're looking at. That is the future we're looking at. I predict that the end of 2022, I believe it's quite possible that you are going to see Tesla robo taxis going all around your neighborhoods. I believe at first they will have a driver in them because they can't get by these nits of people and all that stuff because God forbid that anything was to transpire out of one billion rides, one problem would have NHTSA just, sorry, nobody's trying to get sued, allegedly, would have NHTSA just losing their minds. This is the future we could have. If we push the people forward who are pushing for that technology. Now, okay, yes, it's a little bit scary. Having something control where you're going to go, when, and you don't have any control over it at all. I'm sure there'll always be a, a, a disconnect where you pull that lever and this thing will pull right over and let you out if you feel afraid or if you're feeling sick or anything of that nature. Or you could just say, you know what, I'm feeling really bad, could you please take me to a hospital? And it will switch your destination and take you right to the hospital. I mean, folks, yes, you could be afraid of it, but you know what? If you accept it and adopt it, it will get better and better and better as each day passes. Don't be afraid of progress entirely. Look at who is holding the progress, what their character is like, 
and where it goes from there. So there's always a nuance to every depicted problem. Let's imagine a little further. You do for a conference call, but you were out of town. You're coming back in your preferred transport. And all of a sudden you realize you're not going to make it, not a chance. So you extend the drive and you have your conference call right in your mode of transport. Those big screens all around you now light up with all the members of your meeting. And you have a nice tablet over here, which is sectioned off, which you're able to type into and share all that information with your meeting on your way. Now, home, because you're going to have finished all your work for the day in that car ride or in your transport. That's how I see the robo taxis coming up. They're not going to be little dink, rinky dink little pill boxes that you just get in, sit there straight, don't move, get where you're going, jump out. No. I believe these robo taxis are going to be full fledged entertainment systems, connectivity systems, workstations, ready to give everybody the experience of a lifetime. End of 2022. Let's see. I believe they come out with a driver. And as soon as it's possible, the driver will be removed. Then the steering wheel and pedals will be removed. Cutoff switch is simple. You hit that button, pull that cord, and it automatically finds the safest place to pull over. So if it's ever gonna do anything stupid, you'll just hit that thing and it will pull you over safely. And then you can report back in and say, hey, this thing was about to to drive in the, in, the, in the oncoming traffic. Can you please look over this and see what was going wrong? And can you bring me another pod so I can get myself on my way? Because I, I don't want to trust this one now. It'll be much simpler than people think. People think, oh man, if it does something wrong. Well, okay, at first you can't sleep in the back. Once it goes without a driver, you can't sleep in the back yet. But wait till it matures and it gets to that point. Wow. What a future that would be, eh? That's my prediction for the Tesla Robocabs coming up in 2022, near the end of the year, and I believe they will be with a driver and then progress from there. If you have any questions, if you have any suggestions, if you disagree, please put in the comments. I'd like to read your comments and, and answer you in kind. Keep it respectful, of course, but I don't mind disagreeing, and I don't mind discussing where we disagree or how. So please, remember, hit that like button. Let's get this out to people. And stay safe, stay healthy, and beyond all, stay as happy as humanly possible with humanity, compassion, love, and understanding for your fellow citizens.